Hey guys, and welcome back into Anno 1800. As you can see right here, we are doing a multiplayer co op game with none other than K Bob Lord from League of Ungentlemanly Warfare. We're going to be doing this co op game. We have some settings that we're going to show you all that we're going to be getting into, and then we are going to jump into the game. And I am so excited. I hope you're excited. Let's get K Bob Lord back over here on the Discord, on the call that we're in, and get started. All right. All right. Say hi, K-Bob Lord. <laughs> Hello. All right. So, yeah, that was basically everything that I had to said uh, to say. Yeah. <laughs> so, also to my viewers. Hello, uh, everyone there. <laughs> Hello, so, all of K-Bob's viewers too. Yeah, yeah. Basically, uh, this is now the fourth or fifth project on the channel in regards of NO1800. So we try to do something different. So, uh, first of your information. Um, different than the last project is that uh, Taka and I, we have not been friends for years or something like that. Basically, we, we just got to know each other a little bit through chatting. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we noticed we are very different from each other in regards of our playstyle. And it might actually be fun if you put two random strangers into one <laughs> co-op slot who also have a very different playstyle. I mean, he tries to play beautiful. I try to play ugly and efficient. <laughs> so... And also, apparently, Taka wanted to turn us into a woman. So, uh, Taka, are you the left boob or the right boob? I want to be the left. I have a thing about left. Okay, you want to be the left boob. Okay. Uh, we Good. don't have to I be a woman that. if you don't want to. I mean, we could be... Uh, apparently, Von Malking looks like you. We can look like you. Or <laughs> 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 uh, What else do I have here? Uh, no, do I whatever floats your boat. I don't care. I don't care. So, um, <laughs> yeah, the idea of this project is we are now going to record like uh, four to five hours in a row. So there won't be much of a uh, transition between the episodes and so on. It will be mainly like random cuts, but hey, whatever works. And uh, yeah, then we will see what we will end up with. Uh, Taka is going to focus on the capital. I will try to focus on the industry. And we will see what happens. Chaos may ensue. Oh, and I yeah. hope that you uh, and I hope that the capital growth can uh, keep up with the growth of the industry. Well, I'm <laughs> going to try to keep up with the uh, the way you build and how fast you build industry. Thanks to the uh, since you were so nice to inform me that they put in that awesome new uh, copy feature to copy whole districts i might be utilizing that quite a bit to uh quickly make a large city so we'll see how that goes um, okay then i will make sure that you won't run out of building materials yeah don't let me run out of building materials and as long as i have plenty of beer i'll be good to go which you know you're german i better have plenty of beer going that's all i gotta say we will see about that. So, uh, <laughs> game settings, yeah, they still need to be adjusted. Yeah, we need to adjust some game settings. Uh, did we agree we're going to turn Sunken Treasures off, or is that what we want to do for this one? Uh, honestly, I simply don't care. Okay. Uh, I mean, if we don't want to go there, but then we don't have to do the expedition. It's that easy. Yeah, that is true. We can just not do the expedition. Um... Uh, I might just be if we have, if we don't want to go there, I might just turn it off, uh, just so like the weird stuff doesn't pop up that we get items from it that can't be mm. used and we have no use for. That would probably drive me insane. Oh yeah, good thinking. Yeah. All right. So game settings. Let's let's do something about this. All so right. island size large, go fertility ahead, plenty. Bump it up to advanced and kind of go from there. Definitely want large world size, yes? Yeah, yeah, I definitely want a large world with large, easy to build on islands, but in my opinion, the income can be medium and the construction cost refunds can be half and uh, building relocation can cost money, you know, stuff like that. The economical okay. stuff. Yeah. The stuff that we are actually good at, that can be put on medium. Okay. And... Uh, let's see. Do you have a particular map type you like? Uh, I usually put it on random. Okay, random. So, no, uh, though from my uh, from my experience, uh, Snowflake has been the most even one. Snowflake, okay. Snowflake, because I usually do island arcs, so I need to I need to branch out a little bit. We can do some Snowflake, uh, fertility and minerals. I usually leave those medium. Is that something you do? We can do. As I said, I don't care. Okay. Uh, that means that we just need more islands later. Yeah, more islands is not a bad thing. More to build. Yeah, on. but that also means we need to put more influence in that. 
Oh, uh, it's true. And yeah, let's just do plenty. Let's just make it a little bit. Every everybody easier. knows how much I love the influence system of this game. <laughs> yeah, we we know. We all know. K Bob Lord loves the influence system. I mean, the system itself is great. It's just that they put a hard cap on the end. Like, uh, okay, you've reached the limit. You can't do anything. It would be better if, like, uh, in the end, um, if you surpass the limit, then your people get more unhappy and you can try to counter it with luxury goods and more lax working conditions and stuff like that. Yeah. And the more you exceed it, the harder it gets to keep your people happy because the people get the feeling that the government is doing stuff <laughs> they are not supposed to do. You know, it would be more realistic, it would be nicer, and uh, you can also react better to emergencies. Like, for example, my playthrough, if I would still have an AI and it would go to war with me, I would have to raise my entire museum and the zoo to make enough influence free for a war fleet. So, yeah. But details. Details. Who, need, who needs a war fleet? Who needs a war fleet? It's all about the botanical gardens. Yeah, and then <laughs> the Wyatt Hunt comes, yeah. <laughs> oh, let's see. Features, okay. Income, medium, uh, Pay to relocate buildings, half construction cost refunds, normal trading post restocks, normal city incidences, and common quests. That's all mm -hmm. good, I think, unless you want to make it a little bit harder. Oh, uh, no, that is okay. If you would uh, also activate the revealed map. Oh, yeah, definitely. That would be nice. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to put this on large starting capital, I think. Just... Okay, are we going to start just with a ship or with the already with a warehouse? Um, I like to start. I like to start with no warehouse. That way, I can pick my pick my island. That was the only right answer. <laughs> yes, hey, people who start with a warehouse, I never understood. I'm like, but the whole point of the start of the game is to find that perfect island. Uh, the story behind that is uh, they started introducing that with Anno 1701, yeah. and uh, they wanted to open the game up for casuals, like, uh, yeah. for example, uh, women over 40 playing a strategy game for the first time. Yeah, they, they and, might not uh, understand that. <laughs> exactly. They did not understand how to settle on an island or what the purpose of the game was. <laughs> as soon as there is already a building, they know, ah, I have to build buildings. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so and now they made it optional so that people can choose it's in my opinion the right approach but yeah that is the story behind it it's uh yeah, I the did not know casual that. players casual players <laughs> those filthy casuals sorry i've been playing too much world of warcraft uh, 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 <laughs> all right do we want victory conditions to have an end goal for this for this oh uh, uh, not this really okay. let's just play as long as we want okay so there we go. There are our victory condition, or not victory conditions, but our settings. Um, and I would love to have one AI. You had love one AI. Oh, no, we're not going to invite friends. We want an AI. You choose the AI. Whom do you okay. want? Okay. How about a rematch with Lady Margaret Hunt? Oh, God. <laughs> no, let's go with George Smith. <laughs> okay, George. I was like, oh, God. <laughs> Here we go. All I need is George right. is basically a beefed up ben uh, Bente. Yeah, he is. He George is pretty easy to deal with. Yeah, what he doesn't like is when you construct mines or a zoo. But aside from that, well, he's just gonna have to deal with it because we're gonna have to have some mines. I mean, when in doubt, we can just uh, use our cannons to put some sense into his head. True. Uh, do we want harder pirates or normal pirates? <sighs> Whatever you prefer. Um. I usually always play with average, but, you know, since you are a tactical military master of this game, since you beat <laughs> all of the hard AIs, you know, I, I saw I saw you be a tactical genius beating the hard AIs in your series. So, you know what, we're, we're going to we're going to make it a little bit more difficult with the with the pirates here. Since we okay, only have I consider one myself AI. a noob. <laughs> I consider myself a noob in this, but OK, OK, we only yeah. have one AI. We need a little a little something. Little something to give us maybe a little headache in the waters. Yeah, uh, when in doubt, we could still bribe them. So, not nah, true. Okay, and um, we are not Rada Applestein. We're um, let's see. What, what, what Taka Lord? That's what actually what I was thinking. Taka Lord. <laughs> Taka Lord the third. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that's... 
Are we happy with all these settings over here? Oh, you'll have to uh, disable Sunken Treasures and Anarchist in your in yours, I think. I do. How can I? Oh, it doesn't. There's let no you... button for me to do it. Okay. Well, maybe it doesn't matter then. I mean, you have you have you have a deactivatable stuff at the top left. So. Oh, never mind. I see when I hover over it. All players are required to own any additional content you enable. Okay. So since I don't have it enabled, you're we're good to go. All right. Yeah. Let's get into this. Um, how do I get rid of this chat window? Uh, uh, oh God. That is a very <laughs> good question. Um, <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. Because that's gonna that's kind of in my way. <laughs> oh, never mind. It's gone. It's gone. Oh, hey, it's snowing. And you let us start with a fleet. Yeah, I figured it might be e easier to start with a fleet for us. So we've got us two schooners and a flagship with a few resources on it Shake your booty out of Angry Annie's so um actually the island to our left is already near perfect uh, yes, it, it has is. potatoes grain three clay deposits two iron deposits yeah and it's a decent sized island i like the shape of it oh i love the uh, the location of that of all those oil wells is nice too if you can afford it yeah i think that i think that would be a good island I'm not the type to think all yep. Uh, do you want to go claim it? And I'm going to take a schooner over to Archie and go get some more building materials. Okay. Where Where is Archie? Oh, they made some really nice little icons on the mini map too. It looks like. Uh, they have been there for an eternity. Oh, uh, the little, <laughs> the little like skull and the ship and no, they and haven't. And the crown. Um, no, okay. those haven't been there. I don't think. I had to go back and watch one of my other episodes. I almost I don't recall seeing those. We assist however we may. Yeah, I'm gonna go get some more building materials from Archie up here. Forget Just the shit. Browsing. All right. So I will. Uh, yeah. Um, you can. You will focus on the building of the sediment, right? Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna... So work on our houses up here for a moment so the question is where are we going to build the uh actual island i guess it uh, the capital on the island i guess it will be on the southern side of the island where i can use the north for the industry um actually why don't you do the industry in the south because all the oil since all the oil is right there and that'll be closest to get to the industry with the first with your first power plant Okay, I can also do it in the south. I don't mind if you think you have enough space in the north for the... Yeah, I think so. Let's see. On the... Uh, what is this? The west side of this island? There's that little that little mountain that's kind of like by itself in the center right there. We'll call that, yeah. the, we'll call that the dividing line. That from over to the clay. That clay pit that's over there is kind of our dividing line. Because that would give me enough space up here to build a decent city. So I will just build a road. So that is there our dividing line. There you go. That'll work. Okay. I can work with that. Okay. And, oh, they even made the... I'm sorry. I'm, I haven't played in a while. I haven't played at all with Christmas. So I just saw... Well, the they're doing Christmas updates for an eternity now. <laughs> oh, the marketplace looks so good. With the little Christmas trees. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the little thing. You know, I actually bought the, um, what was it, that Christmas DLC, the holiday DLC they put out. Mm -hmm. I bought it, but it kept saying that it, the transaction could not be processed to try again. I tried 10 different times, and then later on I looked at my bank account, and it charged me 10 times for the holiday DLC. But it says I still don't own the holiday DLC. So, yeah, I heard I heard that issue uh, happened quite often, actually. Hmm. Yeah, I have to call Ubisoft and be like, um, I want my money back, and I want the DLC. Okay, there we go. I've started some houses for you. That's good. Oh, I forgot. You have to wait for him to slowly build up his stock of goods. Okay. Yeah, but it's still uh, good to already have a ship there. Yeah, go ahead and grab some out. I'm going to set a buy order, I think, for some wood, just for the early game. 
<laughs> Getting wood. <laughs> Gotta get the wood. All right. So yeah, in conjunction with this series with K-Bob Lord, I'm also going to be doing another series on my channel where I'm going to be doing like a, just an aesthetic free build, and I'm going to be using mods. I have decided I'm going to be using mods. But there aren't even that many mods out there yet. Uh, the Spice It Up mod basically has everything in it I want. It's got tons of or new ornamentals and different variations of ornamentals that are really cool. And it adds in a bunch of new buildings. And some of the new buildings are really, really nice looking. And they fit perfectly with the aesthetic of the game. Okay, because of the, uh, the last large mod project for Anno, in my opinion... Were not that great because they uh, reused buildings from other, uh, from other installments. For example, you had buildings from Anno 1701, then an Anno 1404. Yeah. And There's you could a mod notice like that. the difference. Yeah, there yeah, is was a the mod. IAM like that. mod. Yeah, I used I the IAM. Of that. I, never, I never used any of the uh, like Anno uh, like 1501 mod buildings and stuff in IAAM because they did look weird and did look out of place. Um, there is a mod for Anno 1800, I think it's called uh, Old Town, and it also adds in the different, uh, it adds in buildings from Anno 1404, and they do look out of place, so they don't fit very well. Hmm. Yeah, though, to be fair, uh, Anno 2170 ARC was great. Are you still there? Or is your mic acting up again? My mic is acting. It's acting like it's not getting... It's acting like it's not charging. I should... I don't know why I have a wireless headset. Let me plug this thing in somewhere else. Let's try that. Maybe my USB ports on the top of my... Uh, my PC tower are messed up. Maybe. Maybe. So, uh, at least for me, I will activate the day cycle. Oh, yes, please. I I used the day cycle when it first came out just to, like, show it. Be like, hey, look, here's the day and night cycle. The and then I time. never turned it on ever again. Yeah, I like to jump between different daytimes because it just looks so satisfying when the time is fast-forwarding. Mm-hmm, it does. An empire covers both. Slowly oh, trying Majesty's to get more, more timber to come in. A competitor raised a settlement. Oh, George Smith settled his first island. Oh, did he finally settle an island? Where did he settle? He settled way down here. Yeah, in the south. I really wish we could build a lighthouse. I don't know why. I just, I really want a lighthouse. Hmm. By the way, I want uh, this to become our beer island. Okay. The fertilities are great. We have uh, copper and zinc. We have more iron and we have lots of space on that island. Mm, that is a nice little island right there. Yeah, I can... Uh, let's see. I think I have an extra schooner. Stations. Yeah. I go over there and claim that island pretty soon. Just go ahead and at least build a warehouse on it. Yeah, don't forget for that you will need steel. Yeah, what is it? Is it like 10 steel? I forgot. I much. think it was 8. 8? I thought they used to give you enough steel to build two trading posts. I could have swore they used to give you enough to build two, but I guess I'm, I'm wrong. Yes, you are. Apparently so. Okay. Trying to keep up with uh, the farmers and stuff here. Slowly. Stations. Duty done. Now we have our first quest being offered by George as well. Let's see if you're as principled as you claim. 
Offers a sustain quest? Huh. That's a new type of quest. Or at least one that I've never seen before. Yeah, but it's quite easy to fulfill. Oh yeah, 15 fish. That, that is easy. Yeah, we constantly have to have 15 tons of fish for 7 minutes. Oh, that's easy, yeah. Very simple quest to fulfill here. So, with the next delivery of timber, I will be able to complete the next uh, warehouse. Okay, so, I will hold off. I'm actually bringing down about uh, 12 tons of timber right now. Thank you. So, you warehouse build. Alright. Game save. So, and slowly but steadily, our timber production is taking shape. Let's see. Very well organized. I have my moments. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, my residential area is looking just as haphazard as usual. I mean, when in doubt, then just raise it. Bulldoze yeah. the entire city. We need a mass move, a mass relocate. Station. Yeah, that unfortunately does not exist. Yeah, that would be really cool, actually. Just a mass, that would actually save me a lot of time. There's a, there's a little quick boost of... New, a new, milestone. new city status, village. Yay! Good deal. All your village all belong to us. <laughs> So, how much fish do we actually need to keep the people happy uh, that we have at the moment? One fish per minute. Okay, that should be easy enough. Yeah. I mean, that is half a, fishy, uh, half a fishery. Yeah, that should be more than enough for right now. I, I'm, I'm going to try not to use a calculator at all. <laughs> and see if I, you know, well, I, I, I get so dependent on the calculators, I really do. Yeah, that is why I'm so glad. I'm so glad about the statistics menu. Yes, I can't wait. To, when do you get that unlocked? Is it artisans or engineers? It is. It is already unlocked. Oh, is it? Where's it at? Okay. Um, just click on your account balance. <gasps> oh, I thought it was and a building. You, and then you go to production. Oh, and, I just, uh, I just, I just looked at it. Oh my god, I am like in, like, I am in data heaven. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. I was a financial analyst for many years, so this sort of thing is just like, it's just like, oh, yes, data. I love data. Yeah, many people cannot comprehend how satisfying an Excel sheet can be. Oh my god, that's amazing. Oh, Ubisoft, I love, well, not Ubisoft, but Blue Byte, rather. I love you guys. This is awesome. This was worth the wait right here. Current potential supply. Oh, that is amazing. Yes. May not ever have to have a calculator again with that. <laughs> okay, I need to. Yeah, I, uh, I tried it yesterday the entire night uh, playing just with that tool, and it worked really well. So you really can plan ahead your production and stuff like that. Uh, that is that is very nice. I am I'm really glad that they added that in. So, we need more workers. I'm, I just built a bunch of new houses, actually. Good. I just used up a bunch of timber. There we go. Hate some yeah, I'm waiting for some, uh, some of that fish to come in. That'll pop up our workers again as well. Where hmm. is... Okay. That schooner is not going to be called Fear anymore. I want to call that schooner. Um, let's see. I don't want to call this schooner. Fear just is not a good name for a ship. That just that just doesn't work for me. Oh, like the HMS Terror. Mm -hmm. I know. It's like no. Does it also worked so well. <laughs> that does not work for a ship name. Um. Here we go. 
I had a viewer who just insisted on having a ship called the Chungus. So there, we have the Chungus again. This is for you. Why not? <laughs> why not Boaty McBoatface? Well, Constance will be Boaty McBoatface then. I mean, we are living in the age of the internet, so. Yep, there we go. So we have Boaty McBoatface and Chungus, and the Muskox, our flagship, should be renamed to. Um, Let's see. What 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 were the uh, what should our flag? What's a good meme name for the flagship? Oof, I have no idea. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, you know what? Let's just I'm just gonna put it back to the muskox for the moment. We're gonna leave that up to our viewers, and we'll we'll get together later on at some point. You know, in the next yeah, like what, yeah, five episodes. <laughs> I mean, we, if we are staying with half an hour per episode, then we'll be more like, yay, in 10 episodes we can name our ship. <laughs> I'm doing one hour uh, for mine. <laughs> I'm doing one hour episodes on mine. Yeah, I would probably be around 45 minutes or something like that. I yeah. I usually do a cut wherever it makes sense, in my opinion. Yeah. So, working clothes should now also be coming in quite soon. Okay. Would you... Uh... Is the fishery? Uh, oh, there's the fisheries. I was trying to figure out where they were at. Okay. Yeah, we have a slight overproduction on fish because oh, I know that the city will be growing, you know? Oh, that's fine. Here's some more workers for you. Oh, good. And I can now build some of the fun things. Finally. Yay. Alright. I, you know, I honestly, I hate the fire station building. I just, I hate it. I hate the size of it. It doesn't, um, it doesn't work. I hate the police station more. <laughs> yeah. I just It's like they, they purposefully made these really odd-shaped buildings that don't fit um, in nice everywhere. May I tell you a secret? What's that? Yes, it was on purpose. I know. I'm like, don't, don't do that to me. <laughs> don't, don't do that to me. It's got to be a... It's got to be right. And this is not right. Okay, we're gonna have to move some move some houses around here. Oh, I have a quest. Residence. Oh, collect farm animals. Oh, there they are. Easy. And we got a boson. Or a boson, or however that boson. is called. Uh, yeah. Boson. A boson, or I think it's a boson. I'm trying to remember. They said it. Uh, they used that word in Fallout 4. I played a lot of Fallout 4. I think it was a boson. Okay. And I, I have to admit, I suck at speaking English. If you ask me. <laughs> I, so. I speak English, and I'm pretty bad at it sometimes too. So hey, don't feel bad. It's just not. It's not a very uh, user-friendly language at times. Yeah, because it often ignores its own roots. So it does. It really does. <laughs> uh, and I was about actually Fallout Four. I loved it. Oh, I love Fallout Four. Um, huge the crafting. fan of that game. Just the settlement building was not that great, but for that, I uh, I had the mod uh, Rise of Commonwealth, which basically turned it a little bit into SimCity. So you were oh, yeah. uh, I uh, uh, with just assigning plots, and they have, have a... needs. I actually have a huge mod for that game that I I need to actually go back and work on a little bit for uh, Sim, Sim Sim Settlements because they came out with the uh, that last big expansion pack that he came out with for it the um, the Raider one that he did mm -hmm. and I made a uh, Brotherhood of Steel faction pack for it um, the last time I looked at it I think I had like I don't know fifteen twenty thousand downloads on it. You sir are famous. I I was. I'm a little. I was a little famous with it. People really enjoy my <laughs> faction pack. It's just it's a lot of work to maintain those faction packs. But I did. I did love me some. I did love me some Fallout Four now. And yeah, once he came out with Sim Settlements and the Rise of the Commonwealth, especially, it just made it made it so much more fun. And I'm sure my viewers are sitting here looking at me like, this is not how you build. You don't build cities like that with my residential areas. Yeah, I'm just trying to get it all in there. He, he needs workers. I'm trying to get him some workers real quick, and I'm going to go back and start 
messing with it a little bit here in a bit, in a little while. Start moving everything around. So at the moment we can uh, support the double amount of population. Okay, cool. Yeah, if you got plenty of everything, it looks like coming in. Good deal. And it is time for for this. There we go. Have fun with the workers. Yay, workers. That means I have soon to build steel industry. I hate steel. Oh, God. As soon as I was able to afford to always buy all the steel I needed, I removed every single foundry from my house, from my city. I got rid of it all. Yeah, it's just too expensive. It needs way too much workforce. And, and space. The amount of space you need for it all. It's just ridiculous. So, yeah, as soon as I was able to afford to just constantly buy steel from Archie and the AIs, I said no more. Customs and excise. Hey, we're making money finally. Look at that. For Good. like the next like five minutes, and then we'll not be making money anymore. <laughs> <laughs> then we'll be five in minutes? debt again. Oh, you're gonna. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Never mind. Spoke too soon. Spoke too soon. Yeah, we need bricks. Yes, we need lots of bricks. I'm actually excited about doing the passage stuff because I did leave that turned on in this. Um, I have not watched anything with the passage. Okay, um, but I'm excited. Everybody who has watched my content knows I hate building settlements in the Arctic region. <laughs> so I'm I hate gonna have a lot of fun with it. So uh, yeah, you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good to me. I'm okay with that. I love building. I love city building. And the Arctic stuff looks so cool to me. Hey, look, I made a pun. But I'm... <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> You're not allowed. More flexible than you imagined. All right. Trying to buy up a few bricks as well for us. I really love building the brick industry. It fits so nicely. <laughs> oh, we got some more quests. Let's see. Not so long ago. Uh, a collection quest, easy enough. Pick up exciting. flotsam, can do. And uh, Eli has a quest for us. Why not share some? Another pickup quest. More side. flotsam. Well, I'm glad we have plenty of ships sitting around. Adjust the sail. Oh, look, and we're about to uh, complete the seven years of famine. Ready for assignment. The All right. Seal upon it. Good deal. I see that doesn't look bad down there. I think you've improved on your industrial building. It's like it's 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 very organized little squares of everything. Yeah, I learned a thing or two over the past 78 episodes. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> tell me about it. I learned quite a bit. I learned that I get really neurotic at times when it comes to building, and it's really not good. Okay, let's see. We need some more workers, which means I just need a whole bunch more houses, too. So, yeah, I have accessed all three clay uh, clay pits. Okay. Flagship at your service. So we have now six brick fix, uh, uh, six brick factories. Oh, there's our first pirate gunboat that's come out from uh, Anne, heading straight for that schooner, of course, that I just sent over there. Please don't forget to buy the materials. Uh, I, I can do it myself. Buy material. I mean, I'm buying them manually at Archie, just as he supplies them. Ah, uh, okay, because I will need a ship with a bit of steel to settle on that one island, remember, before yes. George is getting it. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. I am... Oh, were you... You must be controlling the schooner at the second. Oh, I didn't. I uh, just selected it, but I was not oh. actively giving any orders. Okay. Um, so, um, yeah, uh, George also got to the second population tier. Did he? Yep. 
And as I said, his play, uh, his construction style is quite comparable to Bente. Is it done? It is done, and I'm gonna. Where's our flagship at? Because I'm going after that schooner. And our city is burning. Is it? Where? Oh. Yeah, I don't like that they don't tell you that it's burning like right off the bat anymore. Yeah, only when it's uh, when it escalates. Yeah. Well, I've got a fire station up there, and I just mobilized the next one. Okay. But considering that we are just 25 minutes into the game, I guess our progress is quite good. Yeah, not bad. I'm going to come drop off this stuff from the schooner and then go start. I need to start buying up some more uh, steel. So I hope you plan to increase the size of the city soon. Because I'm going to increase our production again a little bit. Yep. I am uh, building some more farmers right now because I know we need more workers for sure. There we go. I'll let all that fill in. Where is it? Where are all my ships at? They're so slow. The ships are so slow. Oh, wow, you oh, well, really we increased fall. it. Holy crap. Ah, I gotta catch up now. Okay, there we go. Don't mind the that ought to give us in. quite a few workers right there. Should give us enough to cover what you just built. Your hard work has paid off, as hard work always does. Good deal, money. Yeah, especially in regards of schnapps and working clothes, I need to increase our production a little bit further. Okay. Take the rudder. Because you're getting close to the production values. That is so nice that you can see that now in game. I can't let that happen. Oh, yeah, yeah, it uh, it improves the game on so many levels. Oh it's yeah, just... it does. That's just that is so awesome that you can do that now. Yeah, we ought to have plenty of farmers as soon as these houses fill up. Adjust the sail. A lustrous jewel in the crown. Oh, they take forever to move in. Yep, they do. It's looking like I'm going to have to have another market somewhere. And in the meantime, I'm uh, I will demonstrate the uh, mass copy tool. Look at our working clothes production. Okay. I'm looking at our work. Do you see it? That's not working clothes. There it is. Okay, yep. Yeah. Oh my god, that is awesome. That is so cool. Yeah, I feel like an AI now. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> it's like that's what it's like. That is really cool. I love that. Okay. Dropping off some timber and bricks, and I'm going to go start buying up some steel real fast. And I'm going to upgrade. A... Wait, I can't upgrade. Oh, yes, I can. Okay. There's just a handful more workers right there. Another quest. Oh, photography quest. These are always the most fun. A brick factory? Oh, look. Got one right here. And that's a pretty photo of our brick factory. What are you going to give us? An ensign. Actually, that would not be bad to go in our uh, flagship. Wherever it's at. Oh, he's chasing down that schooner. That's right. deal yes yes I know town we're short on workers I'm working on it getting yelled yeah, at I know that I'm not really helping here but still 
ready to. <laughs> so, a yeah, there's a little more done. money. Okay. There. All right. That should be good on the workers. I mean, on the farmers, I mean, whichever one that is. Okay, Bodie McBoatface, you get to come back I'm home, right. and... I can finally let go that pent-up gas. You said it's 10 steel, we think? Or 8 steel, I mean? Uh, yeah, 10 is with what you start, and 8 is what you okay. need. Alright, then this is enough steel right here. I'm going to bring this back over to the uh, port, and then you can use uh, that schooner to go safe. settle an island. And our flagship is just slowly chasing down this gunboat. Oh, the farmers are so slow to move in. Oh, well, there's your steel production unlocked. Everybody's favorite. Yeah, I'm going to wait with that until we have, like, 1,000 worker workforce. Yeah, that would not be a bad idea. Make sure we have more than enough. Flagship ready for order. Our poor little schooner is so slow being loaded down. Schooners are so slow just in general. I hate yep. them. I, I hate Oops. them so much. <laughs> and our industry is growing. The city's trying to grow. These farmers are taking their sweet time moving in. Workforce shortage. Yes, yes, yes. Don't tell me about a workforce shortage. I'm well aware. Then do something about it. I am. I'm staring at the workers. I'm like, move in already. <laughs> if they would fill up the houses, we wouldn't have a shortage. Okay. Under attack. Oh, what's under attack? Oh. Bodie McBoatface was under attack. So, I just ended the first episode. On my right. end. Yeah, in my opinion, it was a good time for a cut because, well, we successfully entered the second population class. Industry is stable. Okay, money is a bit down. And a ship of ours gets attacked, but details. <laughs> DJs. Attack. Yeah, I think it actually is a good time for me to end my first episode right here. Oh, well, hush windows. I don't know if Boaty McBoatface will even arrive at our harbor in time. Oh, yeah, he will. He's he's getting there. The, he'll, the uh, pirate will get chased away, I think, once he gets close enough. Come on, Boaty. Damage notwithstanding, Admiral. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, there he goes. He uh, turned that away. is what I really like about gunboats, that they can actually shoot to the front. Yeah. That is a nice one. I think I'm going to end my first episode right here after... after we, right uh, after the exciting battle. The exciting battle here that's about to happen. Boom, boom. Come on. You can do it. Oh, yeah. So, and how's George doing? George is doing well. Too bad he can't hear you say that. <laughs> oh, I need to stop. It's too early for that. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> what I hate about sometimes, like, with, like, the flagship is, like, when you tell it to attack, it will, like, match the speed of the enemy <laughs> boat, and then it gets kind of stuck. Yeah, that is why I usually give them just movement orders. Yeah. Oh, here's our first so, newspaper. Do we want to manipulate it, or are we okay with it? Um, it looks okay to me, because the happiness cancels each other out. Yeah, it also looks okay to me. Okay. Alright, publish then away. Let's publish. Alright, well, there's my first episode. And... Is that it? Yep. Yeah. One second here. 
All right, guys, that's my first episode. Hope you have enjoyed K Bob Lord and I toying around with this and getting in uh, stuck into our first episode and building the city. And join me in the next one. Until then, guys, take care.